Hey y'all, it's Moni and I'm back like I never left making banana pudding cups. I cannot believe I'm giving you guys this recipe. But for real, for real, if your mom, your grandmother, your great-great-grandmother made banana pudding, then you know this recipe. Um, I just tweaked it a little bit to make it my own. So it's not really my recipe. It's a universal recipe, but whatever. Let's just get it started. <laughs> Okay, so first thing you want to do is add two cups of sugar to your pot. Once that's added, you want to add five egg yolks, only the egg yolks, to the pot. I do not use the egg whites for my topping. I use whipped cream. Then you want to add six tablespoons of cornstarch to your pot. The cornstarch just makes the mixture thick. And once that's added, you want to add two and a half cups of milk. If your pudding is not as thick as you would like it to be, you can always add a couple of tablespoons, however many you need, to a measuring cup with some milk or heavy cream. Mix that together, then add it to your mixture and whisk it all together. Okay, so now that all my ingredients are added, I cut my stove on a medium low heat. And now I am about to whisk for my life. You want to whisk your mixture until she is thick. And when I mean thick, I'm talking Alicia Keys, Erica Badu thick. Okay, so here I'm just adding about a half a cup of heavy cream to my mixture. You want to add that when the pudding starts to become a little thick. And back to whisking I go. When you start to, you can feel the pudding getting thick. And once you feel the pudding getting thick, then you know, okay, it's about to be ready. So then you want to add one tablespoon of vanilla to your mixture and whisk that together. Okay, so here you want to add about a half a teaspoon of salt to your mixture and then you can just turn your stove off. You don't need the stove anymore. Here we're just adding one tablespoon of butter to the mixture and just go ahead and continue to stir that around until it melts. I'm adding about a half a cup of whipped cream and I'm just going to stir that in until it completely melts in. This is optional. You don't have to do that. I just do it. Again, this is my way of making banana pudding. Okay, so now we want to just chop up our bananas into small slices. Um, I know this is called banana pudding, but I don't really like the bananas in my banana pudding. So I make mine really thin. And you want to make sure your bananas are kind of brown. 
Um, I'm not going to use that end piece because that's too brown, but you want them to be soft. cups are ready to be assembled i got these cups on amazon i'll leave the link in the description um they were i can't remember how much they were but they are so convenient but here i'm just adding mini vanilla wafers to each cup i add about four to five on the bottom and then i'm going to add a couple of slices of banana then i'm going to add the normal size vanilla wafers on top of the bananas. Now I'm just adding my hot pudding to the cup. And you want to do this when it's still kind of hot so the wafers can kind of melt and become soft. It makes it taste so good. Once you add your first layer of pudding, you want to add your regular size wafers. I add three on top of the pudding. Just adding my final layer of pudding on top of the wafers. Um, I like my pudding to be wafery. I don't even think that's a word, but I like it to have a lot of cookies in them and not a lot of bananas, even though it's banana pudding and pudding. -y. I don't even think that's a word, but yeah. So I'm just adding the last layer of pudding on top of the wafers. And once you finish adding that, it should look something like this. So I'm gonna place these bad boys in the refrigerator. I normally refrigerate mine overnight, but you can do yours for a couple of hours and then add your whipped cream. Now it's time for my favorite part, my presentation. You know presentation is key. So, I am piping my whipped cream on top. This is how I do it. And then once I put my whipped cream on top, I'm going to crumble some vanilla wafers and then add a mini vanilla wafer as a garnish to the whipped cream. And it should look something like this. Remember, presentation is key.
And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Be putting cups. Banana pudding cups in a cup. They are delicious. Eat them up. Um, but yeah, these are my banana pudding cups my way. They're delicious. Um, I hope you guys enjoy them. Thank you. You're welcome in advance. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Um, and follow your girl on Instagram at Moni underscore menu. See you guys at the next video.